So Andrew Tate is free. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he got released yesterday from... <laughs> That's good. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> From all the ways to talk about it. Well, by the intro or by the uh, Andrew the, Tate being released. Just, just a sudden. Andrew Tate's free. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, uh, as of last night, we were recording this on Saturday. So as of yesterday, he uh, he got released from prison and is now under house arrest. And people are going wild about it. Mm. Uh, whether for good reasons or for bad reasons. I want to put him back. Yeah. I, was, well, I want to put him down. House arrest, right? <laughs> God damn. What a put him down. I want to put him down like a fucking dog he is. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's on oh, uh, house arrest, right? Uh, yes, uh, I believe he's on house arrest. I don't know how long he is. There was something like uh, in Romania, there's only a certain amount of time he can be kept in prison. Yes. Mm-hmm. So like they can only extend it four times or three times. I'm not 100% sure, but I I was talking to some of the guys yesterday and I forgot who it was, but somebody said that normally in like America and stuff, they will arrest somebody and detain them for like six months while they build up a case. So they said oh, yeah. that's probably a in similar In the US, thing. you can mm-hmm. get detained for a very, very long time. That's fucking wild. Mm-hmm. That's so, actually crazy. I don't know about Romania, but he's probably going to be on house arrest now until he's charged. It doesn't surprise but me. But like, all. he's going to spin this as like, see, they couldn't keep me. You yeah. know, they got nothing. They got nothing. You know, which is great for him until he's rested. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's back in. And then he's back in. Yeah. Making poems Isn't it again about like, the lights. Investigators, they usually don't want to detain the criminal until they get like solid evidence or something. Yeah. When it comes to like the like, court proceedings, it's mm. like, there's a long time for lawyers to, so I think it's called discovery, which is putting all the stuff together and building the case. Mm-hmm. So I guess it makes sense detaining him while you build it, but obviously there's a limit to the, the long, the length they can do. Yeah. And since he's, he's like high profile, it's probably taking long because they truly can't fuck it up. Yeah. There's yeah, more than sense. likely that extra thing as well, as you said, with uh, taking longer or not wanting to fuck her up is because you know the amount of people that are going to be like protesting him doing that. Oh, yeah. Which is still absolutely insane to me. But I was saying to Josh, right, that he must have lost fans. Yeah. Like, you can't be in your right mind okay. if you discover Andrew Tate and it's like, oh, he's been, he's been arrested on sex trafficking. And then you go, nah, I think he's a great guy. That's, like it's mental like you have it's to actually be mental. you have to be tapped in there the head there are people that will blindside this part where it's like oh you got arrested like, for sex or even if he's still he a great is guy innocent, right a, a normal rational person will just wait <laughs> you know you don't go nah i believe him nah <laughs> he's my guy forever <laughs> he's what's up no? cheap you have exactly. to be really fucking tapped in the head has to be i mean okay yeah Go on, but give, there's, us, there's give some, us your full thoughts. Abs, I on. mean, there are some people that just want to believe someone. Like, they want to be led by this person so bad. That These they, people will probably believe him because they're projecting. Like They will never like oh, look at the bad side of stuff. him. <laughs> 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 they're Unfortunately, <totally> innocent. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, a lot of kids do. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't really know the real world. And Oh, there's a, there's a clip with uh, Ethan from H3H3 H3 where this, like, alpha bro yeah like um I think I see him self-management yeah and the guy so he describes the charges he's on yeah. and he's like he's like he just strong-armed a couple women and it even was like <gasps> a sex trafficking <laughs> you know that right <laughs> strong-armed oh, God. jeez it's like he just strong-armed a couple of women you know I, he could have he could have been you know it could be a conspiracy he's like no you just described sex trafficking bro you know like people talk about the mafia and like they idolize them and everything like that mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like they were actually horrendously bad people and yeah still are yeah. it's like that that kind of well idolization of them seems exactly the same oh he's my guy he wouldn't do this I, you know, he just fucks lots of women like me <laughs> like me, like yeah, me. Right. <laughs> I think my favorite part about this whole thing 
<laughs> is you know how Andrew Tate always said, I'm bold by choice. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Style. And then the pictures came out and it's like, that looks right. <laughs> and it's like he comes out with all this like really yeah. thin hair. Basically looks like my kind of hair if I was I, wet. There's nothing wrong with being bald or have thinning hair. <laughs> But when you're Andrew Tate and you're like, I'm bald by choice. I'm not bald. I'm not bald. I'm not bald. And then it turns out he is bald. That's funny. <laughs> He's basically like, ah, oh, so I'm going to die, but I may as well just, you know, just before I die, I'll take my own life because it was my choice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, not, mm. that was a really grim example. That is a yeah. grim example. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He's it's like, like, he tries to manifest stuff, but in the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm bored by choice. I'm bored by, I'm choice. Made, you're bored by genetics. Fuck it up. Did you point out as well that Tristan, his brother, also had some thinning happening? Yeah. So I'm, as far as I'm aware, they both. I don't know if it's confirmed, but they both had hair transplants. Oh. Bronze what happened? Yeah, to, what fucking Andrew? I think so. Or maybe it was just Tristan, but you can see like the back of his head is balding. Oh, because they don't. Depends what you do. They don't do the back. Well, it's, uh, Joe was explaining it to me yesterday where he was saying, uh, with like, if your hair is like really thin, it mm-hmm. doesn't work because they take thick hair from the back and put it on the top. But if, yeah. you th- if your back, your hair is thin, they're just fucking I think if your hair basically. is thinning, your hair is not gone, yeah. but you have to take care of the hair that is thinning because I don't know, you just have to yeah. revive it in a way. You can't yeah, replace like, that. Hair, as far as I'm aware, so like your hair can have like one to three hairs coming out of a follicle. Yeah. But then as you get older, your hair also shrinks because of a chemical, because you're your balls. <laughs> What's it called? D- DHT or something like that. I don't know, but... Basically, gonna... if you're a man... If you're a real man. Oh, that's what... Oh, see, that's what Tate could have done. He could have been like, I'm balding because I'm a fucking man. Mm-hmm. I'm a manly... I'm so manly. My balls are bulging and about to burst. I'm losing my hair. Holy That's shit. That's so much of a man I Are am. you saying he's got so much like testosterone <laughs> yeah. that he's balding because yeah. of it? <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, there is a correlation between the two. Like, no, that is literally not. It's like, yeah. actually. It's, it's yeah. the, to do with men and the fact that they have uh, <laughs> male, <laughs> male hormones. And it really weirdly, the hair on the top of your head is what is susceptible to that and not really? the back of your head. That's why they take it from so the back strange. of your head. That makes sense. Does it? No. Yeah. But I'm it doesn't make it anyway. sense. It doesn't make sense. That <laughs> it doesn't make any sense, no. but I'm going to believe it because it makes yeah, you feel okay. better. <laughs> the only guess I can come up with is that the top of your head doesn't have muscle on it, which when you think about it is so fucking weird. Yeah. Like it's just skin between your skull at the top of your head. Oh. <laughs> we all just you sigh and thinking way. about that now. Yeah. Like, oh, that's, that's a really weird thing to think about. What yeah, the fuck? That way. Yeah. So going back to like, from balding to Tate again. He's like bald. He is. He is. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the bald man that is Andrew Tate. Right. Um, <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with being bald. I'm sorry, boys. I'm not I'm not taking the piss out of bald people. I'm just taking the piss out of Tate. And he is also bald. <laughs> <laughs> okay, going back to the bald by not choice Tate. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> bald Tate, bald do we think that he is with his fame fame because you you touched on that do you reckon it's gonna just because it did obviously die down for a while because obviously Mm -hmm. he's in prison he sat there writing poems like he's a fucking ballad writer like it's there did you read those they were fucking terrible they were they were like he was in poems in prison he did yeah (laughs) your face the oh, fuck is he were, writing about? You, it was basically like on not Twitter, being bold. He had. Romanticizing his bald head. He'd basically tweet out this like really long tweet that was like basically a poem, Ugh. and it was. I f- I feel like I'm gonna have to get up one of these so goodness, I can like read it to you. Gracious. I think he's gonna gain so much fans, he's so gonna, many fans on release. He's not gonna stop. He's literally gonna come back on social media or something. Yeah, and be like, the amount, they the amount of like, stop me. Yeah, that's exactly it. The amount of that's social exactly media stuff he's gonna that he's gonna do now that he's out is mm-hmm. gonna be like annoying, and there's gonna be people like, "I told you so, I told you so." Mm-hmm. That's great. Let him have it till he's back. <laughs> I just looked her up. Just... Yeah, what is it? Beauty is fleeting. 
Oh. There's currently a snowstorm here in Romania. The metal stings like ice. They say you do not truly appreciate something until it's gone. Don't truly. It is absolutely true. There is no light without dark. <laughs> oh, that is the most cringy <laughs> shit. That is such Give a me bad a gun, please. <laughs> th- that wasn't the only one he did. <laughs> I think I think he literally did one. He's so such a sigma male. This was the second of February he posted that one. Literally the day before, he had another one of I was made for battle. A warrior of the light. Oh. My enemies hope to attack my, uh, me with lies. They tried to destroy the family unit. They tried to silence any loud opposition. He is a fucking I unit. I refuse to leave fellow men in the dark. Someone needs to show them the light. Who better than Tate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's gonna blind. He's gonna blind them with that fucking ball shine. <laughs> Literally, the, the, light. Yeah. the day before, they're a day apart when he did these. <laughs> And he was he was like sat there like he's some sort of these are know. fucking crazy <coughs> as poems. Wait, all he had to do is dab a wank and he would have not done it. <laughs> Literally, the poems or yeah. sex trafficking. What no, if that is his <laughs> clarification wank? What if that was the clarification that he got from his wank? Oh, he saw the light. Yeah, he saw the light. He bust the nut so hard he became Shakespeare. <laughs> he became <flashed> <laughs> <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> Man, I think to Shakespeare every night. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! But his his actual like fans and all the top G's that love him, they're just gonna flock back, aren't they? Literally, yeah. they've all disappeared for a bit because mm-hmm. he's in prison and it's like oh, it's it's day. top G's, right? Yeah. They want women, don't they? Yeah, that, that's the whole thing. Like, yeah, being alpha male, mm-hmm. that's how you get women. But, like. Women hate Andrew Tate. Yeah. And women hate anyone who like Andrew Tate. Yep. It's so like guys teaching you to be the biggest cuck. Yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. Literally. <laughs> They're trying to basically get women by idolizing a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> a bald man. A bald man. Oh my god. He's no Jason Statham. He's not Jason Statham. He's no Jason Statham. He's not he's not Jason Statham at all. <laughs> Nor at all. It's such a like strange thing to think about. Like they literally sat there, but they would probably suck his dick and they're like, yeah, well women. <laughs> like, I saw it in Ross <laughs> fucking smell the cherry sat on. Oh, mate. <laughs> He's an absolute psycho as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, Aiden Ross is off his he fucking literally, locker. Aiden Ross, Nico, well, he said and his Andrew. pronouns were kill slash them, which is literally inciting violence. Yep. yep. This, uh, and then just, Train uh, said he was going to, there's the going to be consequences. <laughs> yeah. But the last time he, Train said consequences, when Aiden Ross showed porn on stream, he was like, maybe you should have got 24 hours. <laughs> so, 24 hours of showing porn to kids. Cool. Ooh. Nice one, Train. <laughs> He's still like a, like, unfortunately, Aiden Ross is the same thing where it's still a draw. Like, people will still go and watch him because yeah. of how stupid and, like, ridiculous he is. They yeah. attract those types of people. Uh, but I just don't get it. I just don't. Like, to sit, like, it, I don't know if people watch it because they like it or watch it because they hate him and they hate watching it. They're like, fucking hate someone. Could be both. Probably a mixture of both. But, yeah. like, the thing is, every time you have controversy, it gives out there. It, you know, even if, like, 90% of the people who see your controversy go, that guy's a bell end. You gain an extra ten percent of that. Yep. Yeah. Every time you just gain a little bit and a little bit each time you do something fucked up. That makes sense. Even us talking about all of this has yeah. maybe in some way led one person or maybe two. <laughs> Are you here because you like Andrew Tate? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, if they liked Andrew Tate, they wouldn't have been here still after what we've just. <laughs> <talked about. laughs> Man, we've, been, we've been memeing on that guy for like a year though. <laughs> I know. True. Yeah, He's sat there wanking about him. I'm a treat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to leave a mean comment because I love Tate. <laughs> the problem yeah, is, right? Tate, yeah. <laughs> if anyone leaves a comment saying like, oh, you did the whole this about Andrew Tate and like, you know, you're just following the mainstream media. I had a comment like that before. Yeah. Like, yeah. Everyone in the comments is just going to be like, all right, toss it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's like the one dude in amongst the crowd who's screaming, just like he's basically shitting himself, and everyone's like, "He shot himself. What's he doing?" <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's really weird. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you decide to do that, but you know, it's Fuck. so 
it's so weird though, isn't it? To like, especially now that he's been charged on sex traffic and like, it's mm. so weird to be like, yeah, I'm his fan. I'm his fan. You would have thought there'd be a point where they're like, okay, he's done all this shit before, mm -hmm. but this is a full on crime. This is like a crime, like horrendous, like actually kidnapping people. Like that's, that's, the war crime. That's a fucking big boy crime. Well, the thing is, right. So you would have thought they'd go, crime. okay, well, we'll stop. Well, that's too much for me. They arrested him on the, the crime. Mm -hmm. Well, they haven't, they haven't charged him yet, but they arrested him on the crime. They described how he did his crime. And there's a clip then from, I think it's like many years ago, where Andrew Tate describes how he does his sex trafficking, which is identical mm -hmm. to the, the way they described the crime that they charged him for. Mm -hmm. And people are like, he didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I'm just bro he did <laughs> I'm just thinking they're like dudes like you know like play video games all day right and they've just been fed this Andrew Tate stuff through TikTok the the type where it sort of like motivates you to be an alpha male right well you yeah. want to be a confident man right and get bitches you know and then all this shit that happens like him in prison and stuff they probably don't do the research they don't give a shit because it yeah. doesn't concern them that much and then he comes back out and he's like yeah Andrew Tate still stand still stand for Andrew Tate and they, they just don't do the research. I they mean, don't know how bad I, it was. I think they probably just don't care. They literally it's, don't care. He's my guy. I'm thick and thin. Yeah. I'm with him. They're doing anything. us a favor by being a fan though because now we know not to talk to him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like a label on them. It's like a like, really easy way. I'm fucking way. stupid. <laughs> and you're like, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> it's a really easy way of qualifying people. Yeah. Literally, I think... Do you like Andrew Tate? Yeah. Awesome. Later. <laughs> yeah. Like Get girls fucked. on um, dating apps that it goes like, what's your opinion on Andrew Tate? If he says anything positive about Andrew Tate, it's like, next. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And then they're like, why do girls not want me? You know when they go like, <laughs> I think there was the, again, on the, the H3 podcast, he's yeah. like, oh, you're letting these bad things out shine like all of the good he's done. It's like, replace Andrew Tate with Hitler and see if you can make that argument <laughs> oh, work. <fuck>. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. Oh, sure, okay. like, yeah. try, try and do for, try and do that for Hitler, and then we'll we'll see how that one works out. Jesus fucking Christ, <laughs> that is, that's a hell of an example and a comparison, and it works. Yeah, I'll do it for Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taken down. Good lord, that's a really good example. Holy well, shit! You know they're like. I wouldn't have expected Ethan to come up with that. Oh, he didn't come up with it. I came oh, up with it. That oh, was you, me. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a certified type classic. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> I, I expect. All right. I was really shocked that he came up with it. And now I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Doesn't look, yeah, doesn't look like Ethan came up with it. <laughs> the only, the only good just... thing Ethan came up doing that argument was uh, when they were like, uh, oh, there's too many too many people. You said like there's too many people becoming gay. Like it's a fad. He's yeah. like, you look at the charts and skyrocketing. And Ethan was like, well, being left-handed used to be Mm -hmm. That you used to think you were like an idiot mm. for being left handed, it was, it was shunned. And when it became more acceptable, it skyrocketed but plateaued at like 11%. Mm -hmm. But that was given to him by Hassan. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Hassan gave it to him? Yeah. Ah. Oh. He's like, do the thing, do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. I think I remember seeing that. And I remember that like absolutely stumping the dude he was talking to. And I was just like, wow. I don't think it was hard, to be honest. <laughs> That's a good point. No. That is a good point. It's one of the one of the problems with him i can't remember there was a teacher i was talking to recently mm -hmm. um it was in the past week or two about it and they were saying that like so many kids idolize him yeah and so many young children do Tate, is it? Yeah. yeah so many like Ugh. young boys because he's an adult who's telling people this is how you be it's, a man and unfortunately people it's are struggling because, with all that already it's because andrew tate is quite like entertaining yeah like he he's a bit of a character yeah he's yeah. like a fucking comic villain you know he's so, unfortunately charismatic as well uh, somehow mm -hmm. even to, with that fucking I voice don't that fucking i don't accent. get it either but. i was me, me and jensen play roblox together and you can see like kids in the chat in the chat typing on oh, my top g and stuff like this and it's like oh they don't even know like this so yeah. yeah commentate w Oh, mate. I remember seeing that on TikTok and Twitter all the fucking time. I was just like... Eh. Common W. Oh, I fucking... <laughs> it honestly demoralizes me so much because I can't tell if they're being sarcasm. No, no they don't. Sarcastic. Kids don't understand, like, 
they the think fucked he's cool. up things adults can do. Mm-hmm. They think he's cool. He's got, uh, he's got a silly voice and he's yeah. there with his top off and a fucking, yeah. what's it called? Uh, Wife Peter. Oh, no. Like, a robe. <laughs> oh, robe. Yeah. I literally oh, yeah, a robe. He's smoking a cigar and he's like this cartoon, like, fucking mobster, you know? Yeah. They think, <laughs> and they think because he's rich, he's yeah. cool as yeah, well. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. he's Because he, he's, got, he's got money, even though... Didn't, like, a lot of it get seized because it was all... A lot of his stuff got seized when he got arrested, yeah. Oh. oh, no more Lamborghinis? Probably I not. think he probably... Think he had a Lamborghini, to be honest. Wait, what was Bugatti? the name again? Yeah, I think he had a, bu- uh, a Bugatti. A Bugatti. Okay. What color is your Bugatti? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was it. That was one of them. But they, they all see somebody who is successful, who apparently gets women all the time, and they're like, man, I want to be successful. I want women. I, oh, I should follow this person. Yeah. This guy who's telling people, this is how you be a man to people who are already... That's how I get rich. Yeah. 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 Oh, this this person's done that. I must be able to do it. Mm. But the, what they don't realize is, you know, he's doing fucking illegal stuff. I have a question though. Yeah. Why are men so obsessed to get women? Like, what's so good about women? <laughs> like, why uh, do they? Self-dunk. Why <laughs> do they want women so bad over a good car? You know, or like a a good house or just a good career? But like, what what like, makes? Why, why do women want men? Like for for women, it's probably stability and a person to care for. Like it's a lot of the intimate stuff. Maybe men just want love, but they're so fucking ook ook in the brain. Ook ook. <laughs> just a want the whole. Pe- like, just a want lot of whole. people tie sex and love together, so yeah. okay. it would give them. Oh, Plus, okay. coming feels amazing. Okay. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you have that link anyway, and also that feeling on top of it, it's fucking slamming. But that, like the, I don't know, a it's lot probably of maybe they're just all virgins. Like it's probably passed yeah. down from their parents as well. Like, yeah. All everything on TV, everything you see is like men get women. You know, women yeah. get women get with men, and that's all you ever see growing yep. up. Yep. There, there maybe is it's also that, the porn industry, probably. I mean, there's the the thing around you see it on TV all the time of men who will get many like multiple women. Mm-hmm. Like that's something to att- like to strive to because that is something everybody always respected on telly mm-hmm. it would be like man he's so cool everyone <coughs> they want this they want that and mm-hmm. it like it's ingrained in people that oh yeah that's that's the reason like yeah. that's what's cool so what made an but argument I don't know, it's just so what made an argument about, about, about like why men strive for women yeah. right it's because they want to impress other men but that's like a that is also part of it because it's the same thing as what I've just said. If you mm. see, I don't know, say one of your mates, you're like, oh, you get loads of women. You're fucking like, Putang. you're doing something I can't it's, do. It's like showing awesome. off, isn't yeah, it? You exactly. know what I mean? They just... <laughs> so you just want to appeal to other men. Oh, boy. I mean, <laughs> the reality is, is that really. you spend your nights at 3 a.m. coming into a crusty sock. <laughs> There's going to be Yes, somebody. we're looking at you. There's going to be one person we're out looking there. looking at you. <laughs> There's one person out there who's like, oh my God, he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's this, in a similar way, it's why do, why do people want money? Yeah. And like, can you could you not say... just be happy with a small amount of money? Mm. No, I want loads of money. Loads of why? Money. Because success, because stability i guess because of all sorts oh i could do anything with that mm-hmm. it's i guess in a, a same way sort that's of, similar kind of it sort of reminds me of like when guys want to buy a very expensive car most women yeah but most women don't give a shit about cars that's sure it looks good do. but we don't know anything about fucking cars but they're literally buying the car just to impress other guys because yeah. there's that one woman who's like who just sees the cash yeah 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 you just see, like, oh, that guy has money. Yeah. Normally, you'll see if somebody does, as you said, if somebody, like, I don't know, say with Joe's car, for instance. I think Joe's car looks sick. I don't know anything about it. But I'm like, that car is cool as fuck. Right. It's literally you just like suck a, his dick. Joe, come here. I mean, that was before, <laughs> that was before I saw the car. <laughs> I don't like BMWs. <laughs> and Joe is very much like a BMW driver. He does not indicate. He does not <laughs> indicate, yeah. No. He's a but I, w like, I'm going to be honest. When we all went camping back in August and mm-hmm. we were all driving up and there was four separate cars and my one was the worst one, seeing them all bomb off and like dart around each other and I'm like, <laughs> it doesn't bother me like i drive a honda civic and the honda civic is like a mom car it's, it's a it's a meme 
Mm-hmm. It's like uh fucking boy racer meme. Yeah. Uh, you know, that that kind of thing. I'm like, ah, I like my Honda Civic. Mm-hmm. Although it doesn't look like the old ones. Yeah. The 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 new models Honda Civic look nothing like the old. The old ones like, kind of look like tiny little courses. So you know the fuck boy. It's the fuck boy car. Yeah, that's the one that I always used to park outside schools, isn't it? Yeah. 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 But I got I got the new one. New one. The was no cool. one. The one that doesn't, <laughs> doesn't look anything like it. <laughs> 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 I'm school. no fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, if I were to get a car, I would love to get like the. Yeah, I've got a car. Yeah, but if I would like, if I were like to want to get like a really good car, uh-huh. I would get like a moist critical, like stalker build. <laughs> what the fuck's that? <laughs> you know how when you Do look you at moist a critical, car that looks really shit, shit? on the outside, yeah, amazing but it's made really good on the inside. <laughs> What's people see, people do that with cars. They don't it. Like no. he look like he looks. He's yeah, he does built. look fit. Oh right, he, he's, he's unreal he looks, built. He look gangly, but then yeah. like he is actually like a. Then he pops out his gun and just. <laughs> okay, there's, there's one of the one of the videos of him is he sat there and like you know just like a fucking baggy t shirt and then he's like, yeah, but what you don't know and he pulls it back and he's literally fucking ripped. ripped. And I'm like, Jesus. Oh, but people seen, do that with cars, though, don't they? Have like, you seen the Meat Canyon video about? That's what I would do. <laughs> about Charlie I hate and Sneaker. those videos. They creep me out so much, but I have seen it. Me, the, me what? The drawing of Charlie is so fucking good. It's it, it looks like, you know, the return, the slam. Yeah. It's got that energy behind it. I don't know. I don't, I don't, like, I don't so, know. So, Meat Canyon's this YouTuber who makes these, like, really cursed animations of people. He'll, like, draw them all, and they're disgusting. Like they're actually animations or pictures, and like animation, f- full on oh, really? animations, and they they are they are genuinely. It might I think they are vile to look at, but they're done really well. <laughs> ah. And it's oh, I hate looking at them, but I'm like, you can't like watch it. It's like a morbid, and he did one of the whole. Is it like a or, caricature, but like morbid caricature of people? Oh, it's fucked. Oh, okay, like it's they. I can't. Remember, there was one. I can't remember. Yeah, he's done it for loads of different ones. And it's like horror esque, you know, like the really like gross. Mm. I, I'm going to describe it all like this and you'll see it and you'll go, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the formal to me. But <laughs> I, whenever I see it, I'm, I am I feel physically repulsed. I'm like, I don't want to watch this. But I was watching that one and I thought, <sighs> I was like, I got to watch it all now. And he basically, what was it? He made him look like he was, he made Charlie look. Like uh, <laughs> he's like the farmer in the painting. <laughs> You're it's so like, fucking creepy. Have you seen those games where like you know Welcome Tim to Burns. the Game? Yeah, you know the people who like stood outside your doorbell when you are like checking the cameras and there's yeah. someone there. It reminds me of those. Oh, like the like creepy the house door. invader. Yeah, <laughs> open the door. <laughs> you love that, don't you? It's a good meme, like. <laughs> Oh yeah, so this remember Nick Ricardo? Oh my, oh my, sexy. <laughs> uh, it's that camera. Uh, it's not gonna show. It. I'll just get a picture. Yeah, and, uh, it's just a lot and, of lines. But like he does full on videos of, and I think he's just been growing and growing, and it's fucking it's disgusting. But oh, that actually animation and ta- that fucking slides really well into the because he was andrew tate was also featured on south park yeah i haven't seen her so do they take the piss out of him i think so i'm okay. i think they're playing warhammer mm-hmm. and randy's like that's not what real men do yeah, real men that's have not women real party. and all that yeah. and then they he calls strippers to come and join and tate comes along with them as like their pimp basically you're your woman i have in my 40k army <laughs> <laughs> what was the army that has like women just like the sisters? sisters of battle maybe yeah yeah Sororitas. that's what I, real I, men I found play the custom models and they literally like and so i found this site that does custom models and they, they, like, the necrons had like shabby cloaks and i was like that's awesome and they had all these different things and for the for the, the sisters of battle they were like tits <laughs> of yeah. of i was like cool <laughs> 40k community being brilliant as always aren't they you okay, know how can we make cool sororitas models yeah tits <laughs> Boobs nice one. everywhere to be Let's fair go. those are in, they were incredibly well made tits i think even you said those are some insane tits yeah those are really well made tits like <laughs> I, 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 wanna wanna paint want, those. 
What's the website? <laughs> I can't remember. Paint them and lick them. <laughs> I, I want to paint those. <laughs> this man like trying to paint them and like. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think they get the glue? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's literally prime man. it first oh man her arm's not sticking <laughs> oh, okay there we go <laughs> uh, that, that is something i didn't plan but i've got a question mm. do you think people who draw not safe for work art to start off with i'd imagine eventually they'd get desensitized but to start off with do you reckon they'd sit there again turned on by their own drawings no 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 not at all no because I don't know maybe it's just me but like when you're working when you are drawing with intention you just look at it as a, a work you don't look at it as something that is like supposed to be sexual or anything like that i think you underestimate degenerates <laughs> maybe because you are speaking from the perspective of a woman just a, just a dude yeah, sitting but there drawing with a stiffy i also have a very <laughs> detached um i don't look at people with sexual intentions that's fair. I don't like... So when I go to like a modeling class where there are naked models, yeah. I just see a person and I just draw the shapes that I see. Obviously, like, as I'm supposed to. I've always like... I'm like, oh my God, penis! <laughs> penis! <laughs> I was just about to say... Wait, I'd be sat there trying to draw and I'm like... Oh, he's a fucking, he's a, he's I do get very right? embarrassed when I get to the private parts. I feel like I was doing something wrong. <laughs> it's very awkward when there's a nude model in front of you and then you get to the private parts. You're like, just draw whatever, you know? And then you go from looking at their penis, you look up and they're like looking right at you. You're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you're making eye contact with a dick and then you look up and you're like, <laughs> Oh man, I'm looking right at you. Sorry, I'm staring at the wrong eye. <laughs> so like, I, I don't know. I reckon at least one person out there would be like... Probably. There's definitely people who draw, get turned on and yeah, like it's their pastime, like just getting a stiffy while drawing not safe work stuff. Especially if they're doing it of like, as like rule 34, they're probably loving yeah. life. It'd be like cavemen who draw boobs on the wall and they're like, oh, yeah. boobs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. He draws two circles, <laughs> yeah. two dots, and goes, oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, the, it's like the boo meme, like when it says boob, and then you remove the, the B, and all of a sudden you're spooked. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, two yeah. circles of <laughs> boob, <laughs> boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Every now and then I look over at Kate's just there going <laughs> <laughs> just wanking out like <laughs> uh, Like I Because they would 100% at some point Get desensitized to it And just be like yeah. okay whatever It's work And it's gone mm -hmm. But like That's how they get more degenerate Yeah that's fair Yeah I got drawn nastier stuff Tentacles <laughs> <laughs> I just I don't know I don't think I could ever draw some like some fucking boobs or and, and not be like <laughs> <laughs> I can't even draw anyway so it'll be stick man with boobs like <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea <laughs> I when I with one of my streams I think I when I was doing stuff onto my wall I like I was trying to put like an icon next to the like friends and stuff who'd like and you came in I was like what should I do for Kate I was like Rob, so I, I drew a plunger and put boobs on it. it was like, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that now. I yeah. know what you Someone came in and was like, what the fuck is that? Are these eyes? I'm like, no, nah, I don't have to be boobs. <laughs> okay, look at that picture I just sent you on TikTok. No, not TikTok, Discord, sorry. The fuck is that? It's going to be my next Mario Sonic. Are they eating each other? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Might as well. Here. Good the Lord. <laughs> is that even going to be allowed? Yeah. Oh I still have Sonic and Mario kissing. Yeah, but that's just kiss a homie. That's not fucking keep me some of your cake. Fucking out of when you're passionate about someone, you know, <laughs> like Sonic and Mario. Is it going to be Sonic and Mario again? Fucking yeah. know. Oh, what? Um, Kermit and who? The lady that Kermit. sucked out his piss from the bed or something? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you mean that that song? No, no, no. Like when Kermit pissed the bed and that woman is like sucking his piss out of the bed. It's got to be Kermit and a Raven Rabbit. Raven Rabbit? Raven Rabbit. Who's that? You've not seen the rabbits? Oh, I'm no? sorry. I'm still stuck I'm on sucking piss out of a... Oh, have you not what seen the, the meme? No. <laughs> oh, 
uh, it's Kermit. He pisses the bed. He's like, oh, I, I pissed the bed. I'm sorry. And she's like, you pissed the bed. He's like, yeah. Like right now, right there. Yeah. And it just cuts to her and she's huffing his piss. Like, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Into the, uh, that's fucking gross. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's all wrong. For some reason, that's Billie Eilish in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm somehow not surprised. Good lord. Oh, nice. <laughs> Stan sent it to you, didn't he? Yeah, well, people... I don't know if it's TOS or anything. Stan. Yeah, He's a little degenerate. Oh, hey, babe. Uh, oh, hey. Oh, hey, babe. Why are you awake? I peed the bed a little. You pissed in the sheets? Yeah. Like, just now? No, it was like a few minutes ago, you know. But it's like... What? <laughs> 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 Good God. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's TOS. I think oh, that's just... just the... now? That's just friends. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was more concerned about the DMCA. He said, "I don't know if it's DMCA," oh, and it's literally Billie sense. Eilish, like the most, like most popular, yeah, like artist at the time. One of the top women artists at the yeah. moment. It's like, oh, no, I think it's, it's still like... Beyonce. 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 I mean, I don't think she's ever going to stop being popular until she dies. Mm. Yeah, and then, not even, not even then. And then she'll grow even more popular from there. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of people that think there will never be another Beyonce. <laughs> Don't need another one. <laughs> There's only one Michael Jackson. Yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Only one Michael Jackson. Oh, this, do you reckon he did it? I don't think I'll ever know. <laughs> no. I don't know. He had a Jen fucked up childhood. I wouldn't be surprised if it was a little bit twisted. I mean, I think a lot of people probably have fucked up childhoods right. in some way. I don't know. I, Ho Hollywood is known for fucking kids. Oh, it's true though, isn't it? both by money and physically. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood is super, super fucked up, so it wouldn't be surprising mm -hmm. to find out that uh, like he did. But no, uh, who knows? Yeah, I generally don't know. Nobody knows. That's yeah. So the do you remember we? I think it was a while ago. We it was one of the other podcasts, but you were talking about the old man from Squid Game and how yeah. he was. He had been... He'd been arrested, didn't he? Yes. For what? I believe... Sexually harassed a woman, didn't he? I think so. I think was it was... Was sexually assaulted? I think it was sexually harassed. Okay. Um, In Japan, it'd be just a good old geezer. Did you say Japan would be a... They do that a lot, though, in Japan, right? Yeah. What, assault women? It's well, also like an archetype. Squid Game Japanese or Korean? Korean. Korean. It's Korean, okay. Yeah. I mean... Ugh, Korea's not good either when it comes to women. Um, or being gay. Or being gay. Or being gay. Oh, accused of inappropriately touching a woman in 2017. He's just um, a sexual assault. Yeah. So sexual, yeah, completely. You know, like, I think it popped up recently. All these articles are from 2023, but it's said that he was finally charged with it. Okay, good. And one of the, the like questions I've had is, I think we kind of spoke about it beforehand, where it was like, when somebody like this is in that media for you, mm -hmm. does it ruin the media completely? Or oh, you... like in Squid Game. Yeah. Me, like, yeah. So, I can't I'll remember 100%. Slight spoilers for Squid Game if you haven't seen it. But he's not around in it. He's not going to come back in another series anyway, No, he won't. He? No. Well, unless it's flashbacks, but he wouldn't be yeah. in the next season, no. He wouldn't be. He, like, he wouldn't be planned anyway. Unless he falsified his when death. I when it Adam comes to Park. South Korea and scandals like this, if you have a small scandal, any at all, you will be cut out on everything that you do. Well, I think he was already not coming back because of story. Yeah, 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 yeah. So even though he wouldn't be coming back, would that still How ruin... old is he, though? He's really old, right? Yeah. Oh, he's fucking donkeys years old. He is... Donkeys. Uh... Well, I've already seen season one, so yeah. seeing season two wouldn't be an issue for me. Mm -hmm. No. Like I don't have to go back and watch it's it. It's definitely going to be a season two. I don't know. Uh, I, it did, I mean, it did I feel, like, I feel like it had a good ending anyway. I didn't even the watch the end. Didn't see, I watched the first couple of episodes and I was like... Uh, mm. um, I think the only like open ends were like the investigation dude. See, I can't watch anything by Kevin Spacey. 
I can't yeah. really. No. You're yeah. not at all anymore. I was really into House of Cards. Yeah. I really like that. Oh, yeah. I and can't then, listen to anything by Lost yeah. Profits. Yeah. Any of that stuff. See, I didn't have the Lost Profits thing until the last time you spoke about this in the podcast. Yeah. Because I'd never really thought about it at all. But then I heard you guys talking about it, and it, it then played on my mind a little bit. Because I was like, huh, I hadn't thought of it that way. And I was in, I remember, it was, I think it was like a couple of days later, I was in the shower and one of their songs came on. And I went, this is a fucking banger. And I looked to check who it was because I forgot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, oh, no, it's, you know, whatever. I'll just listen to her anyway. As I was listening to it, I just felt dread and I just felt like really uncomfortable. Mm. I was like, fuck. And then I went and I, I think I watched a documentary about him and it was fucking awful. And now I can't. Yeah, I refuse to watch it. Which is, oh, yeah, it's just completely ruined it. But it's the same with Kevin Spacey where it's like. I don't know how both I just, any film with him in, I just feel really uncomfortable. And he's made mm -hmm. some amazing films. I know, it's sad. It's like with Baby Driver where not only Kevin Spacey's in it, the fucking main character, I like I, Angel, I, I can't remember, I don't know how to pronounce his fucking name, but they are both people who have been charged for different things. Oh, what did he do? Uh, I think he was, I think it was like sexual harassment or something like that as well. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so I I was watching it and I was like, well, fuck <laughs> me, this is a, because he was a singer as well. Um, huh. <laughs> Literally, I feel like anytime we like an artist, we just go, are we allowed to like him? <laughs> no, I know, right? <laughs> is he still okay? It's like every time you watch a film, you check the actors um, to see if yeah. they've done anything good. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta not give a fuck about him so much. Uh, true. Yeah. Ansel El Elgort. Ansel Elgort. Angel. Uh, now to go, what did you do? Anal. Did Angel. you just say anal? Ansel. Ansel. Anal. Sexually assaulting a 17 year old in 2014. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, there it is then. He was accused of it. He denied the allegations. Um, I don't think. To get charged. I think he's been charged. That's there, a yeah. different story, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. There's a lot of people accused and then but it ruins people, but then it's nothing. one of those things mm. where uh like with Squid Game season one, it is fucking incredible. I remember watching it all. I remember genuinely fucking I think I cried at certain points when certain characters died. Mm -hmm. I was I was so I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Everything about it was really good. And then it's like this comes out. Because I loved, I thought the old man was a great character. I thought mm. he was brilliant. And then to learn that the actor is this fucking shitty person. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and now going back, it's really hard to separate the two. So I'd love to watch it again to feel all those emotions again. Because I think it'd be class. But then nope. it's very hard to do that, you know? Well, I mean, it's not unsurprising for old people. No, um, they did grow up in an everyone, environment. Everyone has a racist where man. Where it's awful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like, yes. those, it's like those memes where you go to for Christmas, like family Christmas dinner, and then you're like, like, okay, Nan granddad, okay. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think everybody has those people. As yeah. you, like, it's the older generation, though. Yeah. I know. So that's what they grew up with, mm -hmm. and you know. I don't know how we got into this bit. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so does it, like, to quickly go back to it, does it ruin any form yeah. of that media for you when you see that? Um, 100%. Yeah. I, yeah. Feel like, media for me. I feel like I've still yet to experience this because I don't, like, Kevin Spacey, I don't know who that yeah. is. I have finished watching Squid Games. I'm not going to watch it again. Um, I don't think I, I listen to any artists that, are, that I know have done anything bad. Marilyn yeah. Manson. I don't know that he's done anything bad. You told me he'd done something bad, but I haven't done my research. Just Google Marilyn Manson All right. charges. Well, Wasn't it in like the nineties? Did that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The guy, the guy I didn't sung realize. about doing it. He sings about a lot of stuff. He does sing a lot. <laughs> he does. He is a. Everybody's known. He's been a really weird he individual. He's a weird for years and years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. growing up, um, when I was in high school, I used to be really. Oh, I still am into Buffy and Angel. Oh yeah. And David Boreanaz had, you know, he plays Angel. Yeah. He had allegations about him, about him sexually assaulting women. No uh, fucking. Women. Yeah. So then that really put me off. <laughs> but even though nothing came of it, really, yeah. mm -hmm. it's still, I'm still a bit still iffy about him. Idea. Yeah. The angel was like the coolest character. I know. It? Whenever he showed up, you were like, oh my God, this is fucking cool. Oh my God, this Plus is awesome. Like, <laughs> as well. 
you know, yeah. more Spike for me, but... Yeah, Spike was <laughs> definitely up there too. Oh my God. But yeah, he had allegations about him and I, didn't, I was like, oh no, and that ruins it for me. Yeah. But even though he, they, nothing came of it, he can get proved guilty or whatever. I, I don't know if he got it's paid out of court. It's still it in the back of my mind, like, yeah. you know, like, oh. Is this just like, say for example, like a new series came out or a new movie that has a really interesting plot and you want to see the story. And then there's one actor in there that either you did really dislike because he did something yeah. really horrible. Is it like you're trying to enjoy the, the story and the plot, but because this character comes on screen, it reminds yeah. you of these things that the person has done. It's so just like instant sort of repulse for me. Like I see, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. It's, I think with those as well is that if somebody is, I, I guess in a way, if somebody has like, like too much fame or too much infamy when you see them in something it takes you out of it yeah yeah. because yeah. for me whenever i see matt damon mm -hmm. in a film i'm like that's matt damon, it's not <laughs> matt damon. i'm literally, I'm literally <laughs> watching matt damon act at the moment oh or, or like leonardo i don't think of him as a character i literally mm. i'm just like that's, that's my actor. that's matt damon so that's like they're so popular good that Matt Damon can only play Matt Damon now. Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> but on the reverse is that if they have done stuff that's so bad, it mm -hmm. would do the exact same thing where it just pulls you out of it completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a really yeah. interesting thing mm -hmm. about that. It's yeah. just one. You can just kind wondering of if you're able to it. watch a series that seriously has good plot, but you're unable to just because of that one character. It, to be honest, I could, mm. unless it was so ridiculously disgusting like it was so ho horrific mm -hmm. i don't know uh so anything with yeah, none of you it? will know of that yeah. or uh like chris benoit which was a wrestler who murdered his own family <laughs> that that was that was horrendous they Jeez. don't talk about that at all anymore but mm -hmm. uh, say for instance he turned up in a match i'd never want to watch it no. because turn the tv off because <laughs> of that yeah exactly if it's so abhorrent that it's done that mm -hmm. i couldn't ever I just, I just be like, no, I can't. This is, this is, this is really awful. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's really hard to like separate the two. I think I just found out what Marilyn Manson did. What's he done? A lot. <laughs> no way. What's yeah, he actually. done? There's so much. It's just constant like abuse of women, uh, mm -hmm. psychological abuse, sexual abuse. Uh, he abused like band members, uh, not band members, like other bands playing on two of them. Yeah. Really? Like he was talking to one band member and she locked down. He had a GoPro under her skirt. Like, oh, oh my God. God. You know what I mean? <sighs> okay, what the fuck? He has fuck. so many exes oh, that have been like, no. he sexually abused me. Um, yeah, a lot. Okay. Lots. I'm not listening to Marilyn Manson anymore. <laughs> Do you know the whole Johnny Depp and Amber yes. Heard thing? Did you ever think Johnny Depp was guilty and was like, no, nah, I can't? I didn't. Oh. I, I don't know. I kind of. It painted like I. It painted social in a really media bad light. pulled you in both directions yeah. a lot of the time. At, at, at start, it was all Amber, 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 mm. right? Because obviously, women are like, yeah, women, you know. Yeah. We stand with women, and then it turned. It flipped a coin, and then everything was like really Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp. And then finally, the 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 thing was closed or like finalized. The case was all done. And then. All of a sudden, media flipped again yeah. towards Amber, and yeah. it's just people are just like following whatever the fucking wave goes. I didn't ever feel that. I guess I had some form of bias because he's been in so many films growing mm -hmm. up and everything. Like it was, I was like the same. I was like, I love Johnny because he but, hasn't yeah. been charged, and it's not actually like arrested for this, and, mm -hmm. and like the court proceedings and stuff. I kind of always just. But we, like, oh, we were all like that. so invested in the case. Really. Mate, that yeah. case it was, was wild. It yeah. was, wasn't it? You'd see memes literally fucking yeah. daily of what had happened the day before. The amount of like the stepped on his B, uh, the dog stepped on a B thing. <laughs> while she's making all those faces. My dog stepped on a B. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yes. And like, just, oh God, it was, uh, that was, I think like, that was a fucking really interesting. It was thought. really, really hard to believe it. Like you listen to like the couples therapy yeah. and she's like, She's like, I didn't hit you. Like, I punched you. And it's like, that's the same. Bro. Yeah, Amber, come but like on. all all of the stuff that she claimed and like they were able to prove it was, it was like false. The fact that she submitted two instances of abuse and the photo was duplicate, but had different like filters white balance, on it, yeah. basically. And you're yeah. like, that's the same photo. Yeah. Um, 
there was just so much like that. You're like, it's really hard to believe her. Mm-hmm. Her testimony, she uh, she came across like she wasn't human. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude. Like she was trying so to weird. act like she was human. Yeah. And then, you know, like her security guard was like, oh, we're just used to this shit. Like yeah. trying to, uh, having to take her away all the time. It's it, really, really hard it was just, to believe her. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. It was all the, like everything to do with it just someone didn't feel right like no, you read didn't. all the testimonies it's like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. something's just not right about this it mm-hmm. i mean when they when, like when they submitted the two photos as two separate instances i was like ah uh, nah nah e- even like like the lawyer's got to be so fucking bad to do that yeah that it's like nah fuck it fuck you <laughs> it's almost like kangaroo court isn't it it's like oh, what the fuck's going on <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense <laughs> did you did you see some of the clips of it was on TikTok. If, um, you know, um, America's trying to ban TikTok over in America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you see some of the clips of that on the court? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, my actually see God. Them. Like, some of the questions they were Fact asking. I connect my phone to my Wi-Fi. My phone. <laughs> Does TikTok, <laughs> TikTok access, access the internet? TikTok access to my Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, mate. Yes. <laughs> yes. Some yes. of the oh. stuff, honestly. <laughs> It's, it's like, why does my phone go up with homosexual stuff? It's like, because you put it in the search engine. That's the best part. You know when, like, people uh, put out tweets like, why am, yeah. I, getting, so why am I getting ads for, like, gay cowboys? Yeah, self-report. It's like, it's like, bro, that's what you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> it personalizes the ads to you. <laughs> unless, unless you're trying to download your YouTube videos off a dodgy site, then that is anything goes. For real, for real, that's a good point. Though. It was, that was, oh, sorry, that I was just... I think so, I saw... So good. It was with uh, Grinder. I don't know if it was an actual true thing or if it was a fake article, but it was like... Grinder had said if the politicians don't stop trying to make anti-gay laws they would release like a bunch of the like information that they had of politicians who use the apps it was like so it was oh, all the yeah with the blackmailing them are they well it was basically just like look you're trying to fuck us over while yeah. you are also using us using our yeah, yeah. You're, you're affecting us so we'll typically, release this unless you do it yeah. typically and you see a lot in like politics the ones that are so heavily against gay and trans people are literal chasers that will not come to terms with their own sexuality mm-hmm. they're just in the in the toilets you know every yeah. now and then <laughs> <laughs> they're like that's the blue real life. they're like exactly. they love they love cock they can't accept <laughs> right? They can't accept it, so they're like they have to go really hard yeah. on the other side. Like, we've got to ban it, yeah, we've got to ban yeah, yeah. it. Like to come across as straight as possible. It's just probably like cock, don't worry about it. <laughs> just take a dick out of that. Cock's great, you know? yeah, about it. Exactly. Just enjoy yourself. Have fun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> if I ban it, I won't be able to do it myself, so it'll stop me. No, <laughs> no. Just look at my temptations. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, Christ. If I can't have cock, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. To be fair, they all have wives, so they can't, you know. Oh, I mean. I gotta prove to my wife I'm not gay. That's <laughs> <laughs> how battle gays. <laughs> I swear, Grinder installed itself on my phone and found all these men on me. Did you ago. install it? <laughs> if I download Grinder, does that have access to my Wi Fi? <laughs> <laughs> It's the whole TikTok stuff at the moment is insane. Oh, I really hope they do not ban TikTok in America because I feel like they're not gonna ban it. They'll try. They'll try and force is. it to be an American company that takes over. It, it won't work. <laughs> they're only scared of it because they're like oh, Chinese, China. Chinese. It's China. Uh, one of the yeah, it's exactly one of the <laughs> things I saw was that they're trying to ban it because. Or they're trying to ban it to introduce privacy laws that will allow them to get more access to people's privacy. Mm. So it's basically like a, we're using this as a scapegoat to try and... Like if they do that, they got to yeah. apply it to every other social com- media company. Mm-hmm. They're going to though, aren't they? If, if, they, if they have the opportunity to gain access to everyone's private information for the government, they'd fucking do it. It's just they're using this as a scapegoat at the moment. Yeah. And I don't understand how they can see TikTok as bad when you go on it and the majority is either fucking stupid ass meme videos yeah. of people, farting, food, <laughs> farting, or, or dancing cleaning. naked yeah. women. Yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. we're half naked women anyway. Like, it's just you go on it, and people are making stupid fucking Garfield videos. It's because TikTok's like, yeah, so powerful. It. it can spread a message so fast. Yep. And that's scary for the government because. They don't uh, a lot of sentiment about it. Across, by yeah. through eighteen to twenty four year, year olds is fuck Republicans. 
Well, yeah, we had Tories. a similar thing ish with people with politicians being scared of or the, the government anyway being scared of people with power mm-hmm. with the UK because we had it a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it, with Gary Lineker where he that shit was dumb. It was wild. Didn't he it? wasn't even wrong. No, <laughs> he's, he was saying that he's the he basically so he's a he's a footballer. He's he's very well known for crisps, right? Crisps. <laughs> you know, Walker's. He's crisps. literally like for <laughs> for the longest time in our childhood, he was sort of like the spokesperson for Walker's crisps. Oh, okay. He was like an he's incredible. In every like in the past, he was like one of the top footballers in England. Nah, okay. it never happened. He was, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he, he got sponsored by Walkers and then, you know, and and we're just he, no he has up. this huge following. He's on like, uh, like Mash of the Day all the time. Mm-hmm. He's such a huge person in For football, BBC, yeah. especially yeah. in like English football and UK football in general. Mm-hmm. He is uh, like there and he, he basically came out saying that the language that the governments have been using to describe like immigration and stuff and is very it's similar to 1940s, 1930s, 1940s German rhetoric. Yeah. Ooh. And he, so, he was unlike, saying the wording was similar. He didn't say they were exactly that. He didn't yeah, say they the were Nazis. Similar. And they're like, they're calling us Nazis. It's like, don't fucking talk like Nazis then. <laughs> and Bruh. He basically came out with saying like, I'm not taking it back. Yeah. Like I didn't use the words you said, but what I meant, I meant what I said. Yeah. yeah. And they, the government were trying to get the BBC uh to fire him or like punish him yeah because he wasn't being impartial but then the Mm. bbc has hosted people like andrew neil who thinks you can grow uh concrete so i don't know if you've ever seen that clip right no he was talking to a carpenter who was like he's like why are you using going on about like renewable stuff he's like you can grow wood and he goes you can grow concrete and the guy's like no it's like this there's this really long silence he goes well thanks for coming on <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird but they they tried it and he basically just didn't step down and so many people came in support because he's got a huge follow following mm-hmm. on like twitter and stuff mm-hmm. and they're just terrified of having a message put out that can be against what they believe yeah to such a big audience yeah so they're like, oh, we need to shut it down. We need to punish these people. And it's the same with TikTok. And I don't understand how on earth you can go on it. And the see. problem is that as well, the director of the BBC is, was appointed by the yeah. Tories. So Ugh. that's another thing in general. Politics in the UK is fucked. The BBC I'm, is crazy. I, I, if I'm honest, I am not brave enough to go near politics anywhere. BBC like, to are fucking it. dodgy as it's, shit though. It's <laughs> mad. It's okay. The, the easiest message you could spread is fuck the Tories. Yeah. Yeah. I do agree with that one. I haven't been in the UK for that long, but I do genuinely hate the Tories. I had a friend who came, or I have a friend who came from like Sweden and to live in the UK a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. And they recently went, yeah, I'm moving back because the UK is awful. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't blame you. I, uh, I don't blame you at was all. Was she in Wales or was she in uh, England? In England, in like uh, South England. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, don't blame me at all. I would move with you if I could. Like, it's fucking horrendous. Thing. I really... If there's another election and the Tories Sorry. are still... Are re-elected, I, I want to go somewhere else. Let's all move to Iceland! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Although, I watched a video on TikTok with Tuggy and it the other day about how expensive all the stuff is in Iceland. Everything. Let's all move to Iceland! No, was like, no, it was Everything a pack in of chicken yeah. and it was £35. It's extremely expensive in Iceland. And all these things that you love about the UK, like Amazon, Starbucks, McDonald's, Burger King. Yeah, I mean, Burger King's not there, but you can get yeah, different types like, of burgers. I know, like, like none of us are there. Mm-hmm. But, uh, what the fuck? There's not a lot going on in the Iceland town centre. <laughs> How can they afford to do all that? Like, what the fuck? Because everything's got, like, imported. Three people who live there. Everything's imported or grown locally. Like, if they can't afford to grow it locally and that, like, literally, McDonald's cannot exist in Iceland because it's too expensive and too important. There's literally the four people who work there, or oh, not work there, who live in Iceland. <laughs> How on earth is everything so fucking expensive? Like, they have high wages shit. too. Yeah, oh, the wages are super it's high. It's like when in Iceland, with your wages, you can buy a ton of shit in the UK. Really? Yeah. Oh. If I went to. I have this rich. What the fuck? No, not anymore. I don't have Iceland a job. <laughs> I downgraded. <laughs> Go to greater. Upgraded in one way, downgraded I, in I got a kife. Downgraded. 
<laughs> my my social and relationship. Yeah. Work. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, Abs. The Tories won't win next time. They and if they don't, if, and if they do, it'll be the United Kingdom of Wales, Ireland, and uh, England. Because <laughs> Scotland will absolutely go. Can we go yes. to Scotland? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. I like we'll Scotland. It's, yeah. I, it's beautiful. Have you thought of like actually living in a different country? Yeah, yeah. Not you, because you live in it. Ah. But <laughs> within the UK or outside UK? Uh, <laughs> let's say outside of the UK. Okay. Yeah, me and Robert were talking about going to Canada. Really? Yeah. Ooh. How long ago? This was a couple of years ago, Mike. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, you were full on looking to like move. Seriously. Yeah. We really. Is there anything in Canada that you went like? Was it why why Canada? Just better, better lifestyle. Yeah. You sure America's dystopia nightmare won't bleed into it? Oh, what a fucking better <laughs> not. <laughs> that was a really Protect depressing Canada. way of explaining. And I, I, it is. Yeah. I don't think any American it. will disagree uh, that it's not Canada. a dystopia nightmare. Yeah, when I a, don't disagree. When a rented either. apartment can be somewhere like sixteen hundred dollars. Fucking mad. Crazy. I mean, <sighs> So yep. apart from Canada, mm-hmm. is it with you two? Have you ever thought of whether before you were together or since you've gotten together? I think the only reason I would want to move to a different country is because I want to learn the language mm. and be immersed in the language and the culture. You want to move to Japan, don't you? I would, but the laws there and how they treat women is really, really bad. And the worth work ethic and just cultural, some yeah, of the cultural the, stuff the is only really way Japan bad. Japan works for you is if you're already rich. Yeah. Really? If you're working class, then you are literally worked to death. But there are laws mm-hmm. coming in. Mm. Like, there is like a mandated clock out time. The, the way yeah. we, like Japan would work is, is that you have to be a team player. So a lot of them end up doing a lot of overtime because if somebody if you goes leave home, on time, you're taking it. Like, yeah, you're somebody, if somebody goes at the lazy. determined time, they're like, they're lazier, they're not a team yeah. player. Yeah. So or they like, leave when the boss leaves, right? Or yeah, something like that. Something yeah. like that. So, yeah. There's, there's laws that... They're, they're literally competing with they're, themselves. Like, you go home. No, you go home. I think they're raising... <laughs> you sit down. <laughs> I think they're raising the... Uh, what's it called? The minimum major consent. Yeah. Because I yeah, think... Yeah, actually. Yeah, because right and now you told And you told me what the fucking number was and I was absolutely shocked. I can't remember what the, the number was. It was something really low, like It was 13. really it low. Is the, yeah, well, it the is the original 13. now. It's yeah. 13. So yeah, it's okay. going up. I, I don't know the age though. Fifth, I don't know. But they already had laws against like people who came to Japan for that law. Which is oh, I mean, it's disgusting. the same with like Thailand and stuff where people intend so to I think, go out. I think Japan have laws that like if you're traveling, you have to, it's something to do with your own laws or something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super fun. That fucked. makes sense. Yeah. Because it would cut people off immediately who were coming in purely just to, you know, like you're a beautiful. diddle children. Like. Yeah. yeah. That's wild. Something Aside from Japan, anyone else? No, not really. Do you want to think about it? I'd have to learn another language to move somewhere else. Yeah. That's the problem. It's not that hard. That's why Canada was easy for us. <laughs> if you could, <laughs> if you could move there and like magically get the language, where would you go? I don't know. I think like Norway. Yeah. They're sort of like mm-hmm. leading in like trying things or like Finland? universal basic income stuff like that. Mm-hmm. That's smart. Finland's really good as well. I'd love to live in Italy. Yeah, Italy? oh, the food would be it, banging. Oh the food would be amazing. <laughs> Lasagna, twenty-four seven. It would just look seven. fucking fantastic. Just have to deal around. with the far right movement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't look at politics or anything of that. I'm just literally like, ooh, that looks nice. Let's go. And that's it. Pizza. Anyway, yeah. 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 anyway, I leave the UK. Pizza, pasta, rivers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, the only way I leave the UK is if things get as bad as it is in the US for people who are. You know, the working class. It is, yeah, it's an interesting one. If there are any laws against women, like in the like US, happen in the UK, I want I don't, to leave. I don't think it would. Like, even, even our fucking messed up Tories see some American laws and go. That's right. fucked. I think, like, I think the general reaction to Roe vs. Wade in the UK, even from Tories, was like, that's fucked up. Mm. Yeah. The whole idea of, like stopping people from having abortions is fucking insane executing women for having abortions wait did they actually there are some laws putting in there they they are no fucking way yeah. there's no way they actually kill women for that the, well the, there's still US. there's still um death sentences yeah in some states so i mean it wouldn't well, be past me gone you, got to, you got to bear in mind as well like some some women if they can't get an abortion because they're 
it, it would kill them. Yeah. They just die. Yeah. 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 This. That makes sense. That's fucked. Yep. I mean. Good Lord. Being a woman nowadays sucks. It's always been it's bad. It's always been bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still yeah, really I bad. Guess. Although I would have expected it to have gotten a lot better, but like I think a lot of women, like say for example, my, like my mom or like the women before my this time. What do you call it? Generation yeah. or like like my mom, your mom, all that stuff. These are the women that did everything. They finally got to work, and they still were housewives. They've done everything. Like they're amazing generation but this generation now we're finally seeing how hard it is we're, we're seeing it from our moms how hard it is to work and be a housewife and care for your children and all that stuff yeah. and we're seeing how bad it is and we're finally like making a change i hope Ooh. i think more that's why lawmakers are scared of tiktok yeah well that's it a lot of it is coming to light you know yeah a lot of people are sharing experiences and there's more awareness about stuff mm -hmm. so that's why you know on a good note about it, though, uh, I think it was CD Projekt Red recently, I think. I'm going to have to double check. Mm. But they basically came out and went, we're going to add um, something so that women can have leave if they have really bad like menstruation. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah, that was really good. I've seen that. Like, mm -hmm. it, was, it was specifically about like how... Uh, like I read it, I went, oh, fuck me. It's like... Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, oh, I mean, because there's so much stigma about it still in workplaces. I'm wondering if this is true, right? So, I I've seen this a couple of times on TikTok or the internet, right? So they're describing this like hormonal cycle. So for women, we obviously have the the monthly thing of like going through like ovulation and period and all that stuff. We have like ups and downs when it comes to energy and moods. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But then someone describes how it is for men. So it's a daily cycle for men, apparently. I don't know if this is true. So you get like a burst of energy in the morning, and by the end of the day, you're like tired. Like your testosterone is lower in the evening. Yeah, or something like that. What but the then fuck? That makes the next sense. Day. But then the boost ups the next day when you wake up. That's why I have a morning wood. <laughs> There's also the thing that like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, wanking is good for your prostate. Yeah, but like. So say if you're it's, someone, in it, it's, if you do it too much, it's worse. But if you I don't do know, it but if just you, enough, say if you do it daily, right? Yeah. Your testosterone comes back daily. Mm -hmm. But if you stop masturbating, there's like a week of like increased testosterone, and then it yeah. plateaus. Okay. That's the whole no fat movement, isn't it? where they're like, I feel amazing after like three or four weeks of not doing it, and mm. then people are like, you should fucking do it. You got <laughs> you got to work that prostate, you know. <laughs> Get right up. Yeah, why not just go directly Tickle. for it, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a muscle. You gotta you gotta you gotta pump it, you know? I can't wait to get some weights. You know when you know when Arnie was like, like yeah. You know when Arnie was like pumping, it's like coming. Yeah. He was on to something. <laughs> <laughs> if if gay sex bad, why dick and butt feel good? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> why would God put a G spot in the butt? <laughs> Explain that, Christians. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this podcast has gone so <laughs> off topic. Holy shit. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So, the final topic I was thinking of talking about is because it is April 1st, and I don't think we'll ever get a day where Saturdays will line up for April 1st. Uh -huh. next year will be it'll be like another seven plus years because we're here now doing it what do you think of it what do you think of april 1st in general I april fools like all of it yeah i, I don't just, really care for it. it it annoys me i it's old like yeah. the problem is is that you get you get bad tweets right you get companies trying to get in on april fools and it's like it's either cringe or it's like whatever mm -hmm. and then you get the ones which just believable and you're like fuck you yeah like, i know it's an april fools and this april fools you come with up with actually like but it's an april fools <laughs> we literally had earlier where you went oh I, yeah. and leaked something and i went it's april 1st i showed you, you went, i showed oh. you the i showed you the violent <laughs> thing i'm pretty sure it's a game mode it says it's till april 8th and it looks good <laughs> when this, re this when this podcast releases it'll be gone tomorrow so go play it now this I feel if like it's, it's real this isn't uh, we're not spot this isn't an ad 
hello. <laughs> I'm like, we're not, yeah, we're not advertising it, but you know, fuck it, you get to pay. It's still relevant. Okay. I know, I know. Uh, yeah. Like, I think the worst kind of April Fools are the ones that like call a lot of people to go to one location in the real world. Yeah. So there's been like in Iceland, for example, there's been like April Fools advertisement looking for singers or actors or some something oh, in mean. a building and then like a fuck ton of people just go there and they wait for it ages and the next day there's like a huge report going loads of people went there because of april fools ha ha get right it, last bad. That if bad. it's like a everybody can laugh thing mm-hmm. fine all mm-hmm. right cool but if it's like because i've seen there's been videos of people who are like they'll go to their family and they're like Oh, I'm pregnant. And everyone's like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then and they then go, ha ha, I got you. And, and then, then they like, just, oh. oh. this Valorant thing is an April Fool's. What a missed opportunity, man. It, oh. it looks good. Whoever made it, it actually looks good. Is it actually an April Fool's? I think so, yeah. Oh, that's oh, sad. I forgot you made it. Yeah, got this is why I don't like April Fool. Fool's. They actually made something that looks like a fun yeah. game mode. Yeah, and now it's you're a, just upset. It's a 5v1, like, the thing they were doing, like, uh, Basically, Cypher's abilities are like overpowered, essentially. Yeah. Like when you put down the, the uh, you know the the circle grid, yeah. if they if they enter it, it explodes. <laughs> they had it where you could throw your gun at the camera, and yeah. the camera would have a gun, and then when you access the camera, you can shoot with it. Like I was just thinking, that's an awesome that class. That is you know, an awesome you know the wire? fucking idea for a limited game mode. You know the wire that you cross on Cypher? Yeah. Yeah. What if like two guns just come out the wall where it's like connected <laughs> at a point? They, they showed it where, like, he puts down a tripwire and it multiplies, like, 20 times. So, like, the entire room is just filled up with tripwires. <laughs> oh, and I'm dun, like, dun, 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 that's dun. a really fun <laughs> limited game mode idea. Yeah. And apparently, it's not real. <sighs> See, I hate these things where it goes... See, we have literally just had yeah. an April Fool pulled on us. That so is bad. why it's April when, Fools p- When companies sucks. bring out, like, all these awesome things and it's April Fools, mm-hmm. fucking put it in your game! It's good. <laughs> like, if it's good, put it in. I, I can't believe it. I didn't plan that at all. The idea that we, at the start of this, saw something and went, oh, that seems really cool. And by the time we got to the point of talking about it, we went, oh, it was actually a fool. We have all been fooled. Oh. <laughs> It'd be really funny now if this podcast ends and it's not. <laughs> what? Yeah. If it's actually real. If it's actually real. But <laughs> I fucking hope it's it real. Looks, it looks not real, unfortunately. Oh. I s- Oh, it was a rip in the camera then. It happens now and then. It's, it's going to take Ooh. a bit to sort out. But with companies, it, I don't know if you could ever remember, but like, what's been your best, <sighs> worst April Fool that you've had? Maybe even just not with companies, but in people, in, like just in general. Have you ever seen one that you like? Or have they always been bad? Not really. No? I can't really think of anything. I think it's mostly just video game stuff. Like, yeah. Uh, like, Blizzard used to, used to do one for Warcraft, didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they would actually yeah. show something really good and yeah, then tell them exactly. they're going to put it in the game and then it just doesn't get added into yeah. the game. That annoys like, me. Uh, that annoys me so huh. much. I just read it. Exclusive game mode live on March 32nd. But apparently you get an exclusive spray until April 8th. Okay. Wait, so a it, spray. It's not, it's not a thing. thing. It's not real. It's not a thing. Uh, but I think you get this John Wick cypher spray. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Not enough, though. It's a right, shame it's game mode. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good idea. It, I think my favorite ones are like Blizzard stuff where they're like, they announce all these fools. Because I mm-hmm. remember it used to be good where people would wait for it. Yeah. And there was like mm-hmm. patched notes and all this stupid stuff. And everyone's like, oh, this is funny. Yeah, this yeah. is really good. And then they would still add something like silly that you could go and do in their games. Mm-hmm. I, I always thought that was really good. But then... I mean, with that, for instance, where it just, I don't know, it's kind of, you said it at the start where you said it's old and I, yeah. that's exactly how I feel. I'm just yeah. like, it's so tired, old. Tired, shit yeah, I'm tired I'm so of it. I'm tired like, of it now. Yeah. It's just, I'm 34, like, fuck off. Like. It's so, <laughs> it's so fucking just <laughs> out <outdated>. People grumbling. <laughs> exactly. That may as well be the fucking podcast. Like, if like you know, this is what I mean. Like, if they go for the effort of making something that looks really cool and it's not real, you're just like... I, I would love to play that. Good, yeah. I would love to play that, man. It's it's just fucking sad then. No, like, you're wasting my fucking time. Exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you're doing. <laughs> We're not getting younger. I know, exactly. Time. <laughs> I feel like the gaming companies would be like, look what I can do. 
Look what we could do, but we're not going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's sad though, isn't it? It's a cocktees. It is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, it is a cocktees. <laughs> this is just... like, the problem is they went through the effort of making the video. So it's gameplay where it shows. It's Cypher throws a pistol to the, to the camera and it latches on with an animation. You know, like, mm-hmm. they fucking made that. So they made the effort of doing that. Yeah, yeah. Put it in the game. Wait, so just, was Valorant the one who did that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, so they actually... That's a Valorant I thought you meant tweet. it was a fan made thing. No, it was a no, Valorant, Valorant tweet. did it. Oh, oh, that's even worse. Hold on, let me go log on a Valorant. That's what I mean. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm testing this shit now. You ain't wasting gonna, my time. We're going to go find out if this is actually real or not. <laughs> do, you, do you think with April Fool's and stuff, the reason why it's kind of gone uh, to a point of wit... Is it because we're old or is it just because pranks in general have kind of... <laughs> Marketing? marketing companies are so big on marketing it's just free marketing true if they do make something controversial and something that like if they do something good and then it gets a lot of controversy it's going to be like publicity yeah and more marketing so they're going to get more views and clicks well, i don't know i think pranks in general like uh, yeah i think yeah there's been a lot of the cancel culture as well on top of it so i think a lot, a lot more people now are disliking it more because they're seeing because when we were young it was all like Dirty Sanchez yeah. and uh, what's the other one? Jackass. Jackass. It was mm-hmm. all that. That was the all the rage, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. But now it's. Well, we went through the YouTube years of like ten, I mean like ten years ago, where over the years pranks kind of just went like they were basically beaten to death, like where they were done so often. Mm-hmm. And as April Fools is basically just kind of pranking people because mm-hmm. it's like oh, you know it's very low bar pranks i feel like maybe that maybe i'm just in denial because i'm old <laughs> i'm trying to find reasons for m- why this has happened i don't know who why, why, started why, off? why question. couldn't it be Don't april fool's day undertake got released like on what release the undertake April oh. Fool's. Was that an April Fool's? Oh, April Fool's. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> Send oh them back. We released it you, no one knows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good one. <laughs> if, that, if that was an April Fool's show, I'd be like, nice, April Fool's. That would have been, that would have been wild. I like, I like April Fool's, yeah. <laughs> that would have been really good. Yeah. I got the was, spray. Oh, okay. Oh, grats. Not real, though. It's not oh. real. Though. I know. Damn it! How exciting would that have been? <sighs> that would have been really cool. Uh, I would have played it. Mate, we all would have played it. We would have played it in French. Like, just give us the custom game. Yeah, up. just put it in, you idiot. Well, it would have kind of been like with League, where they introduce a limited time mode, and then yeah. after a bit, it fucks off. Yeah, and they that. stop doing that. Um, Such. They don't believe in fun. There was... <laughs> I think with League, there was a Thresh skin. I think it was Darkstar Thresh. He came out and they had this whole game mode just because of the skin. Yeah. And nowadays, they don't do it. They won't even do the recall. Wait, no, they won't even do the dance thing with Zion Rakan. Don't they? Like, with the update, yeah. the new skins, they were like, yeah, yeah. we're not making custom dances for that. No, custom dances. All right. <laughs> That's to effort, and we want money. What? Like, I don't mind them not doing custom dance as long as they keep the original one that they still have. Yeah, the same animation. As long as they keep those and the recall <coughs> together thing. It's as long the as they keep that, that like, the company there. structured now. When Riot was smaller, they used to have like that thing where they're like, part of the studio would be like, "I want to do this," and they go, oh, "Off you go, go have fun with it." Riot does that. I don't think they do that anymore. Not quite as much as it. Not. They did that with Arcane at least. They probably have. Yeah, but that was. They started production of Arcane back when that would have been a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So oh, right, okay. And now they, they don't they do that to, anymore? There used to be a thing that they said, like, oh, like if part of their devs were like, we want to make this cool thing, they would just let them go do it. Mm-hmm. But I, with how big they are now, I can't imagine that's a thing anymore. Mm. Okay. I think they probably also, when it was less popular, went, we need to add as much as possible as we can to these things and really polish everything so people will buy it. Yeah. And nowadays they're like, someone's going to buy it anyway. So there was a, there was a time where they released a, uh, a new champion in league every week. It was, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Fu- and they were all somewhat different. Somewhat. Like, <laughs> fuck, I remember that. Cause that somewhat. went on for like half a year. I remember Draven it? was one of them. Yeah. But it was like every single week there was a new agent, uh, not, not your agent champion. It was, a wild experience because we would literally like as you say every fucking week it'd be on we were like oh my god this is awesome hey with Valorant, so i just want maps 
Just yeah. maps, 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 maps. And then when you have enough maps, give me a map pool I can decide on, like CSGO does. Yeah. You know, we would just, we would literally only no more Mirage. fracture. It was just Mirage over and no over again. No more fracture. Which is a shame because a lot of the other maps on CS were fucking awesome. Yeah. But like, Mirage is the only one. Blood of the callouts is hard, but in Valorant, they have yeah. their specific callouts mm-hmm. on they the map. They have them on the map, so it's easier. And, um, dude, I loved playing. I played CS quite a lot when I was younger. And it was really fun going through all the different maps and just fucking exploring and seeing shit. It was <laughs> awesome. I loved it. Does CS go have a 5v1 cypher mode? Does Valorant? No. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. no right, idea how bro. sad I'm. Uh, I saw that today and went, dude, that looks sick. <laughs> That's funny. I'd play that for a day. That just reminds that looks me. so fucking cool. The whole idea just reminds me of the JoJo meme where he turns the paper and a gun comes out like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know that episode. <laughs> I fucking watched them. It's I good. I watched it. I know uh, that meme though. It takes a while to get into. Yeah, it was just too much explaining to me. The first series is... <laughs> a lot. Are you telling yeah. me it gets better after the first series? I'm telling you it improves. Okay. I wouldn't say it gets really good, but it does get it does get to a point with JoJo's where the insanity gets into your mind and you're like i'm all aboard let's fucking go all right okay stupid shit happening all the time a dog who uh who's fucking got this magic power okay you know like summer car not the dog in the first series that dio killed no good (laughs) there's one in the fourth series that gets his face eaten off oh great fantastic and that is horrible cool it's actually horrible well i I I killed dogs in video games anyway so i I can't dude i can't (laughs) <laughs> like it makes me sad unless they're like zombie alien dogs then you don't it care. makes me so fucking sad i've said a million times like i always give people like complain that i kill animals in animals games i'm like uh, and then they'll be like oh yeah but like for this one you didn't do it like why are you being a hypocrite and i'm like it's down to how the devs did it if they implement a dog which is literally just pet the dog and that is literally it yeah and it has no other interaction mm-hmm. then you just <laughs> you know <laughs> But if they actually make a a dog that is well thought out, you know, has like personality to it, is is nev- it's it's just not more than a kind of can you pet a dog tweet kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, I can't, I love it. Mm-hmm. Like the one in uh, Days Gone. Is there is a, a good one in that? Yeah, like he like he has to put down his dog at one point. I can't remember, like it gets injured or something like that. Oh. Mm-hmm. But like if it's just a uh, there was one in Red Dead where all the dog does is sit on the lawn. And bark. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I'd be like, I can't even shut the can't dog. Do I'm like, that. I'm like, bro, it's just fucking pixels. Yeah, but it's <laughs> pixels of a fucking dog. I don't want to do that. They wouldn't He's just sat there barking at me. And I'm like, what if it's a nan, like or something? Nan. Pardon? <laughs> Your nan or something. <laughs> if there's a nan on a rocking chair in Red Dead to barking be fair, at me. If, <laughs> if there is a nan in it, I would fucking for days. I'd be sat there, fist fighting it. I'd pull See, her off the chair. He don't I'd know when it's a fucking nan being I'd beaten. I'd fist like. fight the shit out. I'd be cowering. It, 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 it all, all comes down to how the, the devs put it in the game. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you put effort into it, I will care. If you put no effort into it, it's no effort to blow his brains out. I, I'm not like that with dogs in games. I just kind of see them as like part of the, they're just fucking being dogs and they're just enjoying themselves. Like it's just like, annoying cool. thing about companies where they're like, they'll always, they'll implement like a pet the dog yeah. so that they can tweet out, oh, you can pet the dog. In this. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to kill that. That is. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't get that. It's, it's so, I don't know. It's so like, uh, just, you know, you, you know what they're trying to do. Just makes me want to hate it. There is that bit of cynicism that Sam's. makes it uh, manipulative. They are. They're targeting they, you, I Sam. I mean, if they were targeting me, they put all people in it that you could push over. <laughs> and all I, people fall those oh, stairs. It's the best. I fucking love it. Oh, my God. Mate, not even just all people, but... People falling in general. Fucking GTA yeah. Five has this wonky-ass combat in it. And yeah. one of the, my favorite things to do in that game, and I would do it for Punch hours. old people. Not just old people. I just run at people and hit them. And your character, like, teleports them, and you do this fucking booge, and they just you. dunk. They just hit the... F- and it's so satisfying. And then they they get up, and they'd be like... 
They'd either run away, yeah, or they'd be like, huh, I'm gonna fight you. Just you funnier and then you sit there dodging and weaving, and you just take it, and it's amazing. It's class. I What's love it. What's funnier is old people falling, is kids falling. I yes. love watching kids fall. When Jensen falls, oh my god, I can't stop, but I have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then other parents look at me like I'm a bad person. Yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Like, I don't care if he's screaming, crying, I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he was eating his dinner once and he leant too forward on his chair and his chair like, went under and he fell on oh, his like, hey. butt. <laughs> that actually happened to me the other day. <laughs> and he was crying and everyone was going, oh, is he all right? I was, I was on the floor laughing with him. Like. <laughs> I was in the deal yesterday. I was watching anime and I leant forward and for whatever reason, the, the weight just shifted. And cause of, because it's on rollers, office chairs, oh. it flew under from underneath oh, me. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. And like, I, I fell over like a morbidly obese man on his deathbed. <laughs> like, I, it was, it took me about 10 seconds to hit the floor. <laughs> like, I fell, I hit my ribs on my desk, and then I went <laughs> towards the floor. And then I eventually, I, I, I got a cut on my knee as well. <laughs> oh no! I got up, and I was like, that's funny. <laughs> I was just in bed and I heard a lo- like a very loud. Dunk. It was a really, it was a really long fall. Like, I I took so long to hit the ground because I was just stumbling. So that's much. it. The older you get, the, the more you don't want to fall. So you're like clinging on for dear life. Like you thing, fall and go break something. I didn't cling on to anything. Like I was just slowly folding. <laughs> How long did you stay on the floor for? Uh, like a second. Once, oh. once I, once I was down, <coughs> once I hit the floor, you know, it's easy to get back up. I'm not that old yet, but <laughs> the way, because I wasn't prepared to fall, so my 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 feet were like this. They're like, you know, oh fucking, eh. You know, like my yeah. toes were curled inwards because that's how I was like <laughs> swinging my knees yeah. on the office chair. Yeah. So like they weren't prepared, you know, they and they were they were prepared. upside down on the floor. So I'm like, I was almost scorpion in. <laughs> And I'm, I'm slowly crumpling to the ground going. <laughs> I can see it because the desk is here. The, the chair is pulling you forward. And yeah. You're literally being squeezed so the back by the, the two the things. The back of the chair is pushing me as well. <laughs> you just. And you know, my, the, my center of mass wanted to go backwards. While the chair is pushing me forwards. Yeah. So I'm like a house of cards going like this. <laughs> um, you know, this is oh, good. Because I heard this yesterday and laughed. And I heard it again today and I'm laughing again. <laughs> and I got up and I messaged Ems and went. Fell over. <laughs> <laughs> me being paranoid, I was like, "Oh my god, are you okay? Are you hurt?" And I, you didn't answer me. Because all you can hear, dum dum, dum 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 dum. <laughs> I was very confused. Oh, uh, I love people falling over. It's it's so, honestly, it's so good. I, f- 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 the reason I asked, how long did you stay down? Yeah, because I fell over. I don't know back in December or something. I was on full for a while. <laughs> it wasn't like I struggled to get up. I was just like, uh, I'm not getting up. <laughs> I was like, I'm just, you can see all this back like Yeah, exactly. I was just like, I'm just going to lie here. Holy shit. I'm 31. I'm still good at the moment. <laughs> I was just like, oh, that, that happened. Okay, I'm just going to take time to lie here. And just, <laughs> okay, you know. Robert falls over all the time. Oh my God, it's so funny. He chips over stuff. I think, right, if my feet were flat on the ground that wouldn't have happened but it's just the fact that i was swinging my legs <laughs> so you know the he top of no my legs. the top of my feet are touching the ground like that yeah, yeah. the weight must have like so like i can't uh, pull them up because they're, they're they're what's like holding my weight yeah yeah so you're Scorpion, ballerina and like <laughs> yeah I'd, I'd basically had ballerina feet yeah <laughs> on the way down <laughs> oh, that's fucking wild <laughs> <coughs> oh. christ like I've definitely fallen over like that as well myself. Like a yeah. chair. I was in, I was in the shower the and like I was washing my armpit and I went, oh. I saw. Where like I hit my oh. armpit on the desk. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's I... yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> Do you ever just go random bruises? Yes. That just appear yeah. out of nowhere. And you're like, like I don't know. You're washing yourself and you go, what the fuck? Where did this come from? Yeah. I think so. Ebs does. Yeah. And then she'd be like, you beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't say that. She did that to Glenn as well. <laughs> I had a cold sore and I was like, act like I'm, I was hyping it up. I was like, oh yeah, Glenn beat me up. Should have seen him. Like, I like how you go, I got a cold sore. My boyfriend abuses me. <laughs> That's why she said no, Glenn. She said Glenn ha- beat her up. 
<laughs> oh yeah <laughs> i was helping you with the monitor stand and i just like did a number on my forearm oh, or something oh, and i was shit, like yeah. really bruised we were putting up my monitors and we wanted to lower it so there's three monitors dangling off it and i unscrewed the wrong screw so like it fell towards ebbs and ebbs is desperately trying to hold up the weight yeah. <laughs> and she, she starts crying because she's it hurt really she's in bad. so much pain holding it I'm like, what the fuck are you crying about? <laughs> and I eventually get it screwed on and the next day your arms are bruised. Oh, no. I'm like, it wasn't even, like, it was that as well. Like my arms hurt, right? Yeah. But because I was on the front of the desk and the monitor's in the very back, there was nothing to support my waist. So I was leaning my back all the way over the desk and lifting a huge weight at the front of my body. So my back was holding my entire front half, like my torso up. So my back was hurting really bad as well. And I was crying because everything was about to give up. Kai was like, shut the fuck up. I'm pretty sure the... <laughs> I wasn't... I wasn't so bold bitch. I was like, I was so confused while you were crying. <laughs> it hurt really bad. I'm pretty sure the like arms for the monitors are like 20 kilos. Mm. Or something it was like really that. heavy. Yeah. And I wasn't in a position... And there was three monitors already on it. Like the problem was is that I was at the back. So if I held it, I'd be in the situation Ebs is in. <laughs> but she can't screw it in. <laughs> And then I saw the bruises. I saw the bruises, and I was like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> hey, you held up a good. I'm gonna guess thirty to forty kilos. Fucking good job. You did I'm it. surprised Without that my crumbling. back didn't suffer like really bad from there. It's funny because like Build they different. dropped and there was a bang, and then the the oh, one did you have the impact as well on it? Yeah. Ooh. And then the monitor, the one monitor <laughs> I had like, it was bro- like half the screen was broken. I was like, "Oh fuck, we broke one of, one of the screens." And I restarted the PC and I fixed it. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Oh, dude, computers are so fucking weird. Yeah, you just restart them and it's all right. I just, I just don't get it. Broken my I, I can never PC. Be, I can never be asked to figure out PC problems. If there's something wrong, I like, wipe it. Yeah. Right. That's hey. what we did. I did it with Stan's computer the other day. Like Joe that? was complaining. I don't know. Oh. But Joe was complaining about problems with it. Because he said when people stream on it, it like overloads and shits the bed. Yeah, yeah. I was like, refresh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know how it's gonna work. Stan's gonna get here and go. My computer's not working. I, I blame Stan. Oh, sorry. We literally like, like, do you want two PCs? Yeah. It'll make everything look better. Mm-hmm. It will be less strain on your PC. And he's like, I want one PC, two PC, too complicated. Two PC, too it's, complicated. I mean, he can't install SSD cards. So. Uh, I mean, I could just oh yeah, who did he needed someone to? Come which it was Trico, him. wasn't it? Trico to tell him what to do with the SSD. He, he, oh, really? stre- he streamed it to Trico, so Trico was like. Okay, plug it in. No fucking way. Yeah. yeah. I thought he paid somebody to come do it. No. No, I think he was going to pay someone and, and eventually, because I kept saying to him, I was like, oh just, my God, Stan, yeah, just do you it. just need a USB cable, the internal USB cable and the, um, and the SATA cable. So basically the SATA cable and the power cable. Mm-hmm. And he was like, no, nah, it could be complicated. I was like, I went, all right, let me, I'll, I'll dumb it down for you. Your hard drive that's plugged in now, take the cables that are out of that and put it in the SSD. He's like, I want to keep the hard drive. I'm like, okay, so you know what the cables you need are. Like, they're just right next to it. Like, nope. And then Trico helped him. And I was like, what happened, Trico? He's like, yeah, I told him to plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> I I get where Stan is coming from because the he's kind of afraid of the unknown. Like, he's scared of the things that he doesn't know much about. So I have the same thing. So I'm scared of, say, for example, I know how to drive. And I was scared of driving to London because I've never driven to London. I, yeah, I was just scared of you'll that. You'll do it, won't you? And if yeah, so, because and if you I'm can't, better than Stan. Yeah, you'll do it. And if you can't figure out, you ask for help. Stan, right? Every, every time we did the Among Us mod thing, he's like, how do I do it? I said, here's the file. Like, I've the file was already there and the instructions are there. You just extract it into your Among Us folder and it just works. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, but can you help me? I'm like, have you done it yet? He's like, no. I'm like, try doing it first, then ask me for help. Mate, the, how is he going to live alone? The instructions were there, right? It just says, take this file, right? Because, you know, GitHub can be a bit confusing, right? So I made it. So I, you know when, like, you click it and it downloads a view? I took that link address. So when you click it, it automatically downloads. So you just take that, extract it into your Among Us folder. And he's doing stuff like, well, where is the Among Us folder? I'm like, you can't find it? You just, like, the easiest way to do it is on Steam, right-click properties, local files. Boom, take straight to the folder. Yeah. But he's just so confused. He's like, yeah, we're in the file. I just said, in the file. Can you do it for me? No. I mean, There's literally some people who, like, for instance, myself. So 
if there's an issue, if there's a problem, I'll go, okay, I'll fiddle with it a bit and try to figure it out. And then just, if if I can't, I'll mm-hmm. ask for some help. Mm-hmm. But then Stan, for some reason, refuses to do that first bit. Yeah. And I, it must just be people are wired completely different. And he's so petrified that he just doesn't, I don't know what. Doesn't want to take the first step. The worst that could go wrong is you have to fucking reinstall Among Us. Now it's just fucking 200 meg. Take two seconds. I guess he's too scared to disappoint or like to make it worse and then face the the anger and wrath or what happens if he goes do, goes the wrong way or does the wrong I thing. Mean, I mean, what's the worst can happen? Do you know what I mean? Um, you anger that. cave? I mean, I pretty mean, scary. I mean, I'm not scared. I'm quite I fuck sure. up things all the time. I'm quite sure. All the time. I'll do it on my own. I'll fuck it up. And I'm like, ah, I need help. I fucked up. You know? Yeah. I'm pretty sure though. If like... You gave her a go and was like, I'd be doing this for like 20 or 30 minutes. I just can't figure it out. Mm-hmm. And then you asked for help. The person would be like, yeah, I know. It's off. Oh, okay. you You've struggled this much. But then to just, because he does it a lot, doesn't he? He does it with like everything. What? Stan, where he's like, he doesn't try it. He just asks immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he will ask for help before he attempts it. Yeah. Fuck you, Stan. I know you, Stan, I know you watch these. <laughs> I know you watch these. Stan. He does, Stan, he does. Sometimes he's like, oh, I haven't caught I up with you. the SR lore. I love you, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> there was something he asked me the other day and I was like, that was dumb. That was really dumb. I think it was something to do with small land. Yeah. Where they were like, they give us the the press. Ah, oh, the invoice of a guy again. They give us the press download and you went, are we playing the press download? <laughs> I was like... What do you think? Nah, they just gave it to us for no fucking reason. <laughs> there's no, yeah, there's no reason to have it. They've just given it to us, like, fucking, ooh. <sighs> Stan does that. I just don't read the email. <laughs> you just don't look at your emails. Yeah, I, like, I go through so much effort, right, of making things easy for people when we do, like, new games that require a bit of work. Like, I put all the instructions there for people to do, and, like, Ebs will immediately walk into my room and say, can you help me do it? I'm like, if you read instructions, she's like, I haven't read Discord. <laughs> Every time. Ebs doesn't read. <laughs> she'll, like, right, she'll be like upset. I'm just that late all the time, so it's okay. Ebs will be upset <laughs> that she missed late. out on something. <laughs> like, you'll be upset that you missed out on something. I'm like, did you read Discord? No. No. I'm like, <laughs> Although well, I can't go. be mad. I can't be mad because it's my own fault. No, you still get mad. At myself. <laughs> And then there'll be times where she gives a Valorant and gift box and told nobody about it. <laughs> it I'm was for women. Then no, there was one that only Ebbs and Ben got. Oh yeah, Wait, there was what? that as well. Ben got it too? Yeah. yeah. She, he a woman? I, th- I, I think that was a different one. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it, like, I don't know. What yeah, I, you, you, got the, you got the, I think it was like Women's the Day. One. Yeah, yeah, it Women's was Day. Fem- female creators. It was creators. the one for Neon beforehand. Yeah, yeah. It? it was like her jacket that you wore to death and I haven't seen for ages. No, it's the hoodie. That's what I meant. It's oh, you said jacket. jacket. Oh, okay. Come on, hoodie jacket. And then it was another one English after that man. that Ben got. And we're like, thanks for telling us, boys. Yeah, man. He didn't tell you guys. I don't know how they fucking saw it, though, because she doesn't read her fucking emails. I didn't have to read anything. I didn't have to sign up or anything. They knew I was a woman and they just sent the box. No, that's the woman's one. There was yeah. one after that. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't read that one. <laughs> how did you get it? I didn't get another box. I thought you did were a banger. You had one. two. Did I? Yeah, you, you and Ben got something. Oh, I think they sent me something and I think I signed it. So you do read emails? I don't really. I just sign it. <laughs> Yay. You were the worst. I am. There's one with Smallland as well. I was like, replied to him tonight. And then you did it like three days later. Yeah. It was the Valorant thing, no. It was the. We were testing oh out the god, new... Oh my god, the Valorant one was so bad. <laughs> so I went through everything. Like, I got Stan and Brad into the access for Gecko. Yeah. We went through everything. I was like, guys, make sure you reply so that you make sure you get your uh, your account details. Um, all this stuff. And then the day that we were doing it... The day before. I was just like... No, it was, it was basically we were going to bed. Yeah, the and day they were before. And like, I was like, oh yeah, I, I've made sure that everyone's signed now. I, I put out multiple messages and I was like... I never replied to that guy. <laughs> I was looking at her, I was like, should I have replied? The guy literally emailed saying, do you want access to play Gecko when it comes out? Yeah. 
at the at the end of the month and we had all had conversations about how oh this would be really cool if we all played it together yeah. this would be great i remember Let's i did like do this. i did a tag I was and like, i was just like yeah i want to do that too doesn't fucking reply i was like Can you please let me know that you responded to the guy to make sure that you get an account and then the night before i was like i never did it fortunately ebbs was automatically given one anyway yeah i was lucky enough it's like one of those things where people send you something, like a message, and you read the message, then you put the phone down. I do that And all then time. you reply in your head. Yeah, she does that But then to you don't everyone. actually do it. I, I, I reply, actually, but then don't press send. Oh. <laughs> that's worse. <laughs> I do that. I, I had that the other day, actually. Like, Kype messaged me about, about the podcast, mm-hmm. and I'd read it, was convinced I replied, and then we Looked were talking it about it, and he was yeah. like, you never replied. And I was like... No, no. I replied. I looked and I went, oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing with the email. It was yeah. like, are you interested? I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I just didn't I reply. I think they would prefer if you literally replied and went, yeah. And yeah. that was it. <laughs> They'd be like, okay, yeah. well, at least there's a response. I'm, I'm ready to reply when I do 5v1 cipher. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be from that point on <laughs> yeah you could be really spiteful towards them until that's they so sad it lo- like they went through all that effort of making a video and it looks good it looks fun yeah fix a valorant put it in it's for like seven days i only play for one <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> they won't be able to play it throughout you're like i don't, I don't play I mean, they had an escalation fucking nobody plays that Isn't yeah it? escalation which one's escalation good. gun game yeah, yeah. Where game. your whole team changes guns and shit. Wait, is that still in the game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that the one with the orbs? Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, I play that. The Wait, orbs. I thought that was Spike Rush. No, that's Spike Rush. Is Escalation that... is the one where, uh, when you're when you get a kill with the gun, is it when your team gives enough points you automatically want yeah, to the yeah, next yeah. gun? You oh, the next I one. I didn't know that was still in the game. I like that mode. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That forces you to use different weapons, doesn't it? Yeah. It just reminds me of gun game for CS. Oh. It's, it's, it's nostalgia but it? the difference is gun game in cs is that you get the kill individual no? yeah you get the next gun but in valorant you have to do it as a team mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh i kind of want to play that now mm. Mm. Fuck. i kind of like swift play yeah, yeah swift play is good if you want to really like, like you want like i just like trashing people and then you know if i'm getting trashed i'm like oh well three more rounds <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the really good thing you go <laughs> yeah. best of five and you're like yeah it's done in fairness, like what, like the games we played yesterday, we lost like six rounds in a row, didn't we? And then we fucking smoked them. Yep. I do. I We're back. Ca- it's because I, I stopped looking at clothes. That's what it was. I consistently did well at the start and then dropped off. And then towards the end, we get a couple of kills and then I was there. I'm like. I'm always jealous of the people that are able to stay consistent throughout the entire game. Yeah. Like that fade on Ascent one. Like I was doing really good at the start. People just walking into my crosshairs. I'm just getting headshots, right? And then, like, I just dropped off. Just was, she was like, as was 10 2, going, oh man, I'm so fucking pissed off on my aim. Because <laughs> of my Marshall While she's shots. at the top of the scoreboard. And then I'm at the bottom, I'm like 0 7. Yeah, I'm like, cause yeah, 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 yeah. Up to yeah. that point, she didn't have to aim. They just walked into a cross. Yeah, literally just did. I think I came second in that game at the end, didn't I? I think so. Yeah, see? Like, like smashed it. That's, that's how games go for me. Like, I go, I go six rounds where I just die. Then I know how the enemy team play. And then I just be cheeky. Yeah. I think that's a good way of being. Enjoy yourself. I get, if I do really, really bad, I go, all right, well, game's fucked to me. I'm going to ruin it for the other people. So I wind them up. (laughs) 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 And Ebbs will attest. I don't know what it is, but for some reason in games. Everything you say is taken badly by anyone else. Literally, when we're doing Mythic Dungeons in World of Warcraft... And like one per, like stranger starts piping up as, as like telling us what to do. I'm just like, Sam, please don't <laughs> say anything. Please don't say anything. They will leave if you say anything. That's the thing with games. There's, there's game skill and then there's psychological skill. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's really annoying because there's times where I try to be nice. Uh, but <laughs> what disgusting. my message comes across as is passive aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll have to like send something. Then after it goes like... Like, I don't know, I'll be like, really good job, everyone, smiley face. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm serious, by the way. I mean it. <laughs> I, I've had that before where I, I send it and I look at it and I'm like, 
People are going to take that out the wrong way. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I actually genuinely mean this. Good job. <laughs> the best was the other day when I wasn't doing very well. So I ran down A on Lotus with a Vandal and held down left click and got an accidental headshot on the Reina. Which, Ooh. if you've never played a tactical shooter like Valorant and CSGO, if you are running, the bullets will not go where you're aiming. Mm -hmm. So to get a headshot is really funny and the Reina decided to call me the n-word and they went from <laughs> i remember them they went from a really good player to a really bad player because they were so tilted, tilted. and then um i was like we're just gonna get you banned bro <laughs> like what are you doing so they name changed <laughs> oh yeah they did didn't they they name changed and the riot dev got back to you didn't they yeah. and said can you send us the game result can you go back into your career history because they've changed their name they, which they by the way riot if you can't track a name change what the fuck is wrong with you mate so their name changed but their tag didn't yeah i looked and i'd sent them the tag to be like look this is this is their account yeah mm -hmm. and the name would change but that stayed the same i was like huh. How they were like not? they went oh yeah can you send us your id so we can go through the match history and look at it and i was like yeah no worries and then i went because mine is brawled, hashtag poop. <laughs> <laughs> I sent it and I went, I'm really sorry about the name. <laughs> and that's the second time I've had that conversation where I've done that. Because the first time was when they were like introducing me into the influencer thing. And they were like, oh, we need your tag. And I went, oh, fuck. And I apologized then. And they were like, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> uh, well, at least it's just poop. There's nothing wrong with poop. I mean, you've yeah, named yeah, yourself yeah. worse. I have. I have named myself worse. It's, it could have been hashtag come. I mean, come, Lord. <laughs> oh, God. That's it nowadays. Mate, in mm -hmm. Diablo 4, my yep. first character is come, Lord. Mm -hmm. My second character, which is a druid, was poo, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a theme here. Yeah. <laughs> if I made a third character in the beta, I was, it's gonna be like fucking pee lord or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Or just pee poo or something. Pee poo. I just. <laughs> pee poo shy. I basically just give up at that point. But yeah. All right. I think think we've fucking. It's been almost two hours of recording, which Wee. is way longer than I expected. Yeah. As a reminder, Andrew Tate is a bitch. Andrew Tate is a bitch. True. And I can say that because I'm a bitch. And huh? he makes me he makes it, me look good. Is it True. a takes one to no one sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, it, like, it takes one to no one. <laughs> He's a bitch because I'm a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to actually do an intro because uh, outro because Glenn doesn't. Don't give me an outro. Uh, I, I, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the Tavern Podcast. We've been me, K, Ebbs, and Kaif. Thank you. I'll go back to the wave you on. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> 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 <See ya. laughs>